on behalf of us all, the trustees of Free UK Genealogy, we welcome you today, fellow volunteers, keep us now, and other guests interested in family history, heritage, and publicly available records. Camilla Marsenbach, Chairman, and I'd like to make some introductions, put some faces and some names. So I guess you better stand up and introduce you. Um, sorry. Oh, yeah. Steve, Brian Hart, <laughs> Dave Mayer. Uh, we're the long term trustees, and we were here from the beginning or nearly the beginning, which is quite a few years ago now. Um, Jim Killer joined us as a trustee in a while ago, who's not been able to come today. Um, and then most recently, it's Richard Little, um, Billy Davis, who just recently joined the board. <laughs> And Alan Raymond, who many of you will know, um, sat on the board as a trustee for a while, but um, decided that his um, time was better spent hands-on with free BMD, so he's not currently. Um, last year, Pat Reynolds joined Free UK Genealogy as our executive director, and she's proving a huge asset and is carrying forward our strategy, which has helped us form. Um, First, some housekeeping. Um, there are no alarm bells planned today, so if an alarm does go off, please could you leave by the entrance that you came in by, uh, which hopefully will not lead you through a conflagration, but if it appears to, um, there are other um, marked exit routes. Um, <coughs> We're meeting today in a building that's got a great deal of history to do with family trees that go back way beyond the human. And you can probably see over on the left, my left there, there's a plaque with which records the debates held here by Charles Darwin, very much looking at a very long term family history. Please don't take a photograph of that or anything else. Uh, we've asked our hosts to keep the photography to the minimum of the true recording of live pathology recordings which being made out of the phones. Next, I would like to introduce somebody who I think everybody in this room knows that nobody's met before, Helena Hyde, who is a coordinator. Um, Joined us in September, no, end of August, in getting this conference organised and many other things. I'd also like to introduce somebody that may not know exists, which is, who is Stacey Peacock Riestrom, who scanned the film Species and Books. <laughs> and Eric Dickens of, of Free Reg, who is Free Reg people. <laughs> Um, and the hours of free spend to come to today that she is joining us online. And Margaret Singleton is from Free Send is going to join us at the question point uh, towards the end of the day. Major area which we're addressing at the moment as trustees is that of the governance of the charity, which broadening the board of trustees. The larger board gives us advantages in things like rotation of roles and also brings a broader skill set into the organisation. It doesn't come to bring in enthusiasm and ideas and new people as well. Um, to support the board over the next year, this pool of people that will be creating and this volunteers with new skills and interests will brainstorm. Their specialist knowledge and practice to inform the board of trustees. The mission is also moving forward on an open data basis, and there will be more about later. We're also altering the structure of the organisation. We wish to take advantage of being a charitable and corporate organisation, CIO for short, which is a new form of legal entities designed for non profit organisations in the UK. We will also create a trading arm of the charity, 
comes through banner advertising and through donations and as such are now liable to pay tax. With the new setup, the tax and situation as part of this whole reorganization, we need to fall between free genealogy and our volunteers. All this is a change of form, not of purpose. As an organisation, we will be less dependent on existing key people. We'll be more transparent, better able to raise funds to develop the projects and tools, better able to and better able to maximise transcribing of volunteer effort, while safeguarding the free access model. We will be using. what said on the finance. You will no doubt be easily to know that there will not be a PowerPoint showing your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I did think about it. Um, the 19, sorry, the 2014 to 15 annual report and accounts are now available from the Charity Commission website. If you have any questions on these, please do ask me because they go in a certain format and sometimes it's not easy to see what the accountants have meant by things. I'm very pleased to say that we can now claim gift aid on donations to Free UK Genealogy. We received over £5,000 in donations last year, that's 14 15 So if all of those people who were donating, taxpayers in the UK, and are willing to gift aid, we would be receiving another £1,000 a year to know the extra cost to those donors. Only covered the end of March, the end of March last year before I joined. So I thought I'd like to quickly take you through what's happening with our projects. In three we talked with government about access to the more recent records. The PRO is now empowered to provide digital support with them to basically put in place something on the audio side which uses both the structure of free BMD and UK BMD. The longer term, we're looking at increasing the, uh, not increasing, changing the way that users, researchers, access the site and making it a little more up to date than it is at the moment. Free Sen, similarly, is being updated, but not just for the way that users can use it, but also for transcribers and the coordinators and all those involved in the managing. FreeSend 2, some of you may be aware, is just now in a very basic form with data from four, count, four registration districts being trialled to make sure that it's basically functional. From that, the next thing we're going to do is make sure that the tools for the company be used like <laughs> then we go to transcribers and provide better tools because it's easier to use near the end. And actually, we're about halfway through. Research coordinators and transcribers are yeah. now all yeah. using the new system. And the development so that we can get the account of transcribers so that we can find out what the transcribe has been transcribed. So the researchers can sign up, so that they get an alert when they when something that they're interested in has been transcribed, rather than having to check back on the website. 
regularly and lots of other good stuff. We're now wanting parishes and non-conformist churches to get in touch to transcribe their own records or add them to our own to-do heap. And, and next to the place, we can make the link between the record and the parish and the body that created it much stronger. For all our projects, we're starting to look at again at developing an online transcription. But no plan to all stop and the doing fabulous work with fabulous data and the people who know and the people who know it's fast <laughs> but you can walk into a group of society for example and say, so I work for the charity that looks after free BMD or free range or free stem, and you get great looks from some people, and you think you're doing the family history, you don't know about us. How can that be? Mm -hmm. And then the other people in the room say, Oh, but you must do, because it's so much better than ancestry. This is particularly free stuff. Yeah, free stuff. You can, apparently, you can tell us that we've made a mistake, and we have to put it So use our resources. And part of the campaign is to find the people who would really enjoy being a transcriber or another sort of volunteer with us and encouraging them to join us. The overarching website for genealogy.org.uk is a place to look for volunteering opportunities. First, this is the first time volunteers <coughs> doing virtually everything here. It's not just transcription. It's also the place where our policies are stored, information about charity, and we're beginning to use the blog elements. The main development we're here today to discuss is open data, and we'll now move to that part of the program. If you've got any out so far or anything else. Please do, please do ask that you can find